Welcome to Cricket Mayfield. We are beyond excited today to have with us one of the most exciting prospects in the world right now and the man who's lit up the PSL like very few have, Quetta Gladiator's very own Will Smead. Will, how are you doing? I'm all good. Thank you very much for having me on. Absolute pleasure. Uh, Will, people have been asking us, you know, to, have, to bring you on, to talk to you. So many questions. We'll get right to it. From an outside perspective, people go on about the money involved in in T20 leagues. But from a growth point of view, how important do you feel these T20 leagues are for players' development? Oh, I think for me, they're priceless. I think obviously you're getting the experience to play in different conditions, face different bowlers, um, really like challenge yourself against, against the top players. So yeah, for me, it's been an amazing experience. I think from the moment I got here, I've felt like I've been learning the whole time and improving my game and yeah, it presents different opportunities to just staying at home. And I think, obviously, the amount of fast bowlers over here is crazy. So that's, I feel like I'm getting a bit more used to the ball being over 140 Ks. And obviously, the pitches are very different to back home. So I'm getting to learn what works for me on these types of pitches. You're sharing a dressing room with Sir Vivian Richards. There's a little bit of his batting is coming through in what you're doing as well. What's, what, what's that experience been like? Uh, he's been awesome to have around. He's He's obviously an amazing man and he's obviously got great cricket knowledge as well. So whether you want to have a laugh or chat about cricket or literally anything, he's always there. And yeah, I've loved spending time with him and yeah, he's been awesome to have around. A lot of people talking about the fact, Will, that you've had a couple of 90s in your debut PSL season, putting team over personal milestones. How have you developed that mentality at this age? Sometimes... I'll be a bit honest, sometimes we see players thinking, oh, I'd rather get to the milestone than look at the bigger picture. You've clearly not done that. What's what's brought that about? No, nah, well, for me, sport or anything in life, it's always been it's been about the team results as opposed to personal milestones. To me, it makes no difference whether I get 97, 99, 100, if, if the team's winning. I think the frustrations have come from us actually losing those games and not the fact that I've been missing out on 100, I think. To me, that it doesn't make a difference. It's never been about personal milestones for me. It's it's about helping the team win. And that was the frustrating thing that I couldn't get us over the line in those two games. Well, you spoke about the conditions being so different to what you're used to. What's been the biggest difference uh, with the conditions here in the PSL compared to what you're used to in England? And how do you adapt to those changes? Um, I think the pitches are just a bit slower and a bit lower. So... Um, Obviously got to practice in the nets a bit before the comp started and try and figure out what works for me. And um, I think staying a bit lower and figuring out what shots seem to have best, better success over here. Um, obviously, I, that's still I'm still figuring that out um, and still refining it. But yeah, just a bit slower and lower. So I think your execution becomes even more important and the choices you're taking, I think, Generally speaking, on lower, slower pitches, it's better to hit straight. So that's been something I've been working on because generally it's not something I really do. What's it been like playing against Somerset teammates like Barber and, and Lewis Gregory? <laughs> um, it's always nice to play against your mates. I think um, Somerset seem to have a lot of people all around the world at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's just it's great getting to share experiences like this with with your county mates because I think you take back so much and things you learn over here can help people back home and um, yeah I think we're all very fortunate to have had the opportunity to come over here because it's obviously an awesome league and we've been so well looked after and you can tell how much the country loves cricket and how much it means to them for cricket to be here again. What's it been like at the stadiums, Will? You know, seeing the fans, I know we didn't have full capacity, but now that you're getting close to full capacity, what's what's that experience been like? Yeah, it's been awesome. I think even when there weren't as many people in, it, they still managed to make a lot of noise. So you definitely feel like there's a lot more people in the crowd than there are. But yeah, you can see how passionate they are about the game and, like I said, how much it means to them. Um which has been the main thing, yeah. It's just, it's, it's amazing to see and it makes you feel really lucky to have the privilege to play in front of them. And Will, if, if we had to ask you about your biggest motivation for coming to your first foreign franchise league, was it a chance to work, like you said, on your game, different conditions, different bowlers? Was it a name, making a name for yourself? Because we see that T20 
T20 cricket these days and T20 leagues are, of course, very important. Or considering the fact that the England team have seemed to have insane depth, was it, an, was it you know, a case of putting your name up there in the selector's thoughts because we hope to see England in these conditions a lot more also. So the fact that you're doing well is something they might think about in, in future uh, when it comes to selection. I think for me, it was the opportunity to develop my game. Um, that was the main thing. I think I came over here pretty open-minded um, with the fact that I not, might not play very much, but that I'd make the most of any opportunities I had in training or talking to people. Um, so that was the main motivation for me coming here. And I feel like that gets me in a good headspace as well. It means that I train well. And when I do get the chance to play, um, it means I try and make the most of it. Well, you've obviously grown up in an era where T20 cricket and T20 leagues, uh, you know, everybody knows about them now. And of course, you went to, to school in Taunton. At that time, growing up as a young kid, you know, coming through at the time, was this something you thought about that you'd like to do one day? Or at that time, are you just thinking about county cricket, you know, getting your start, making a name for yourself? Because obviously it was your performances in the 100 that made the world take notice. And now, if people didn't know about you, say, a couple of weeks ago, they definitely know about you now going forward. So does that, does that change things a little bit? Um, for me, I think when you're growing up, it's like you don't think about the different formats. You just play cricket. You're just playing sport with your mates, and that's the main thing. And I think I try to keep it like that as much as I can. I think whether it's a Red Bull game or a T20 game, I think I just try and enjoy it and sort of do as well as I can in that game. And then at the end of the day, what will be, what will be. Brilliant. Well, Will, you have been a breath of fresh air in, in the PSL. I know you're disappointed with the way things have gone, but we know that Quetta have an absolute gladiator on their hands and you. And I, I know I speak on behalf of everybody in Pakistan with how excited they are to see how well you've done. And I hope that both you and the team, and there's still some cricket left. You can't, you can't write anything off. You guys are still in it. And knowing you guys, you're going to be aggressive. You're going to fight till the last ball. So, you know, we, we wish uh, it's an amazing end for you uh, and for the gladiators for the tournament. And, and we hope to see you again and again in Pakistan. You've, you've been absolutely brilliant for the PSL this year. Thank you very much. I definitely hope I can come back at some point. Look forward to it. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.